This right here is the revised push-push mechanism. If you're new here, my name's Aaron, and I'm a third-year mechanical engineering student who likes talking about mechanisms here on YouTube. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, I recommend that you do, but I also got the model from that video right here, just for reference. Now, automatically, you could tell that they are not just two different colors, but this revised version is a lot thinner than the previous version. Now, one way that I managed to do that is by completely removing this rod piece because it was just too excessive. And I did that by extruding a hole into this top component that's about a centimeter thick. And I also have this cylindrical piece that's about a centimeter high. And by doing those two things, I managed to keep this spring in place just as well as a rod would. All right, so I got SolidWorks all loaded up and let's take a closer look at this mechanism. So as I push down on this top piece, you'll notice that the circular piece actually makes contact with a lipped surface. And that's important because we want this circular piece traveling in a clockwise direction. And as we keep pushing down on it, we'll watch the circular piece reach the top. And as we let go of the top piece, the circular piece will go down into a locked position. When you push down once again, the circular piece reaches the top right corner. And as we let go, the circle will not only go down this straight path, but it will also go up an inclined surface. And that inclined surface was the one that created that lip in the beginning we saw. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more mechanisms like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to buy one of these chess boxes for yourself, make sure you check the link in the description. Goodbye.